Hi, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com, and today I'm going to show you Kihon Ipon number two against Jodan, stepping in face punch. From this perspective, if I am offense, I'm bringing my right foot in while my left hand goes to the right side of my neck, stepping backwards, downward block. I announce Jodan, and when my opponent says Os, I step in forward, face punch to their lip line, and come back. If you're practicing this by yourself, you step in towards face punch with your own lip line. If you're with a partner, you punch to his or her own lip line. One more time for offense. Step in, downward block, announce Jodan, and return. Inhale, exhale. From this point of view, this is what Kihon Ipon number two against Jodan looks like. It's a lot different than number one. You're starting off by pointing in this up left position. Think of it as if this is 12 o'clock, you're kind of pointing towards 11 or 10 almost, and that's because your back foot, your right foot in this case, is going in the opposite direction that you're pointing. So, as my hands come up at the same time, the left hand is firmly placed against the right side of my neck while my left hand is pointing, once again, in the opposite direction of where I'm going. From a kinesiological perspective, this gives you the most amount of power because so much of Shotokan Karate is equal but opposite energy. My right hand is going to come back while my right foot comes back and my left hand goes forward into a back stance. Left arm almost fully extended. Majority of the weight is on my back leg. My right fist and my right palm are at the same verticality. My right arm is pulled back, and now I shift into a front stance. This is designed to be your own jaw height, but it could be an attack to the temple, jaw, or throat. When you return, the right fist over the left, right foot comes in, inhale, exhale. Once again in detail, because this one has a lot of fine movements to it. As your hands are coming up into position, the left hand is covering your neck. The right hand is pointing in the direction that basically this block is going. One, stepping back. Two, shifting into front stance. That weight distribution changes from a back stance, having the majority of the weight on the back leg, to a front stance, feet still shoulder width apart, majority of the weight on the front leg. This also gives you the amount of distance you need, so you don't need to lean in forward. Once again, one, if you look at my feet, they are perpendicular with each other. The heels are on the same line. I blocked. I shift in to front stance, two, and return. What this looks like coming at you, offense steps back into downward block. And I say, Jodan, step in forward face punch. Now, from your perspective, if you're doing this block, my right arm and my left arm come up at the same time. My left arm is protecting the right side of my neck, and it's going to go in the opposite direction of where my right hand is. My right hand is a guide in which my foot's going to follow that same trajectory. Stepping back, shifting your weight distribution into a front stance, chop to the neck. Hands come together, right fist over the left, inhale, exhale. Once again, the person in front of me is announcing Jodan. You prepare yourself, Os. the punch comes in, you block, you shift in counter. That was offense and defense from that perspective. Now let me show you the offense from your perspective. You'd be getting your right foot back, performing a downward block, announcing Jodan. Stepping forward to face punch, coming back. If you are watching this now and are attacking me, this is what my defense looks like against you. My feet are shoulder width apart, my hands are in front of my waist, thigh height, knees slightly bent, hands come up into position. I'm pointing 
Once again, if this is my 12 o'clock, I'm pointing in approximately the 10 to 11 o'clock spot because my right foot is sliding back to approximately the five or four o'clock spot. One, two, and return one more time. Jodan's coming, I'm preparing, and I say, Os! Yame. That was Kihon Ipon against Jodan number two. Now I will show you what this looks like with a partner. Now I have Kenny with me to demonstrate this sequence as a pair. We face each other and bow. Os! Os. If I'm offense, I'm getting my distance. I'm stepping back, downward block. And we're going to do it slow first. I announce Jodan. Os. Yeah. You see, he blocked me in back stance, and he would be too far away to counterattack. But by shifting into front stance, that makes up the distance. Offense steps back, defense steps forward. One more time. Jodan. Yeah. Good. And it hits me right here underneath the jaw on the neck. You'll be offense now. Jodan. Os. Yeah. yeah. Now, your point of contact could be the wrist, the elbow, the bicep, but where you return with your offensive chop could be based off of his or her height. This is too high for me because we're about the same height, so I'd be losing energy here. If this person was shorter, squat down low to demonstrate this. Okay, this might make more sense, but come back to your normal height. Uh, for me, this is about correct. Come back. Good. One more time. Offense. Jodan. Os. Yeah. yeah. Shifted from back stance to front stance. Os. Os. Now we'll get it from another perspective. Jodan. Os. Slow first. One. Yeah. And return. One more time. Jodan. Yeah. Good. And Yame. Os. Let's get one more angle. Slow first. Jodan. Os. Block. This is power. Same time. It's not one, two, it's one. Getting your opponent off his or her balance, shift in two, and return. One more time, regular speed. Os. Yeah. Yeah. Yame, return. Bow. Os. Good. That was Kihon Ipon against Jodan number two. Thank you for watching. If this video was useful, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, leaving a comment and hitting that notification bell as it does help out the channel. And stay tuned for more information in the future. Thank you, this is Paul Gale signing out. Us. Us.